In the hazy glow of nostalgia, do you remember that first brush with wonder, the time you met the bionic woman? Ah, oh, 1976 a year when television screens crackled with innovation and imagination. Picture it, you, perhaps a little younger, a little more starry-eyed, as the world of science fiction met reality in the form of Jane Somers, the bionic woman. Those iconic slow-motion sequences as she ran, defying human limitations, her every move accompanied by the enchanting echo of possibility. Maybe it was the thrill of watching her leap, each bionic limb a testament to the extraordinary. Or perhaps it was that heart-pounding moment when you realized that the line between humanity and technology had blurred, beckoning you to explore the profound depths of what it meant to be both. The show wasn't just a series, it was a glimpse into a universe where the extraordinary was attainable, where the boundaries of human potential expanded in a whirlwind of action and intrigue. And now, as we step beyond that shimmering curtain of memory, let's journey together into the realm of random facts about this groundbreaking show. Discover how Lindsay Wagner's portrayal breathed life into James Somers, turning her into an icon for generations to come. Unearth the behind-the-scenes tales that wove the show's magic, and explore the lingering impact it left on both television and the collective imagination. So, ready to uncover the secrets that made the bionic woman an unforgettable piece of television history. Let's dive into the depths of trivia, intrigue, and innovation, where the ordinary transforms into the extraordinary at the touch of a button or the whir of a bionic limb. It's a journey through time, a fusion of humanity and technology, and a tale waiting to be retold. The Bionic Woman, a television series from 1976, emerged as a spin-off of The Six Million Dollar Man. The show featured James Somers, portrayed by Lindsay Wagner, a tennis pro who becomes a secret agent after receiving bionic implants. These implants grant her superhuman strength, speed, and enhanced senses. The show's premise revolved around James' missions and personal struggles as she balanced her new abilities with her human identity. James Somers' character resonated with audiences, reflecting both strength and vulnerability. The series blended action, drama, and science fiction, pioneering the portrayal of a powerful female protagonist in a predominantly male-driven genre. Its unique style lay in the exploration of the ethical and emotional implications of bionic enhancement, inviting viewers to consider the blurred line between humanity and technology. The bionic woman left a mark on popular culture, becoming an emblem of empowerment and a milestone for gender representation on television. The show inspired subsequent female-led action series and demonstrated the audience's appetite for complex, multifaceted female characters. Now, delving into intriguing tidbits about the show, Lindsay Wagner's portrayal of Jame earned her an Emmy, cementing her status as an iconic TV figure. The series capitalized on cutting-edge special effects for its time, showcasing bionic feats that captivated viewers. Notably, the crossover episodes between the bionic woman and the Six Million Dollar Man became significant events, fostering a shared universe concept that would later become a staple in the entertainment industry. The show's impact reached beyond its original run, with various attempts at revivals and adaptations in subsequent decades, underlining its enduring legacy. By introducing a strong, technologically enhanced female lead, the bionic woman reshaped television narratives and continues to influence the representation of women in media. Lindsay Wagner's unexpected journey as the iconic bionic woman began with a twist of fate. Initially intended as a one-off appearance on The Six Million Dollar Man, Wagner's portrayal of James Somers struck a chord with audiences, triggering an unforeseen tide of admiration. Her contract-bound curtain call turned into a triumphant encore as the clamor for more of her character's escapades led to the creation of her own series. Across the Atlantic, linguistic nuances prompted a divergence in nomenclature. In France, the show metamorphosed into Super Jamie with an extra eye. This orthographic alteration was an imperative maneuver. In the mellifluous cadence of the French language, the straightforward Jamie could inadvertently conjure thoughts of bedtime attire, while the alternative Jamie might evoke the universal sentiment of affection. Venturing into the realm of mechanical companionship, the third season introduced Maximilian, a bionic dog of remarkable pedigree. The nomenclature was more than a casual flourish, it was a statement of the investment made. A staggering million-dollar price tag underscored the canine's cybernetic prowess. 
Maximilian's presence not only showcased cutting-edge ingenuity, but also served as a testament to the show's audacious spirit in pushing technological boundaries. From a contractual afterthought to a transcontinental linguistic conundrum and a million-dollar canine marvel, the legacy of the bionic woman resonates through these intriguing facets. Lindsay Wagner's transcendent portrayal, linguistic acrobatics, and cybernetic marvels collectively etched this series into the annals of television history. The Bionic Woman, soaring high and defying norms in 1976 TV in 1976, television history witnessed a groundbreaking phenomenon as the Bionic Woman burst onto the screen, redefining the landscape of female superheroes. Created as a spin-off from The Six Million Dollar Man, this series marked the second-ever network primetime production centered around a female superhero. However, it was not just the debut that made waves, but the ascent to a remarkable five ranking in the Nielsen ratings, a feat unparalleled in the realm of TV series featuring a female superhero. At the heart of the show's allure were the mesmerizing bionic jump action sequences, an iconic facet executed by Lindsay Wagner's stunt double, Rita Eggleston. The gravity-defying jumps were no ordinary feats. Eggleston executed leaps in reverse onto an inflated back, capturing the awe of viewers. Filmed at an astounding 60 frames per second, and then meticulously reversed, these sequences showcased the extraordinary capabilities of the bionic protagonist while leaving audiences on the edge of their seats. But it wasn't just the human characters that left an indelible mark. Enter Max, the bionic dog, a character that stood as a testament to the series' commitment to pushing boundaries. Max, portrayed by several German shepherds over the course of the show, demonstrated unparalleled skills. In season three seconds, the bionic dog, parts one and two, Max's role required a unique set of talents, an unflinching demeanor in the face of fire, the discipline to resist tempting food, and even the ability to confidently mount a treadmill. The bionic woman undeniably shattered conventions, combining action-packed sequences with a powerful female lead, resonating deeply with audiences of its time. As Lindsay Wagner's portrayal of James Sommers showcased strength, resilience, and a relentless pursuit of justice, the show left an indelible mark on the television landscape. With its trailblazing narrative and groundbreaking techniques, the bionic woman left an enduring legacy, challenging stereotypes, and paving the way for a new era of empowered storytelling on the small screen. As it reached unprecedented heights in both ratings and innovation, the series proved that a female superhero could not only captivate hearts but also ascend to the pinnacle of television success. So let us remember the daring leaps, the bionic feats, and the timeless inspiration that the bionic woman brought into living rooms across the nation. A tribute to female strength and the potential of human capabilities, the show's impact continues to reverberate through the annals of television history. The Bionic Woman, unveiling the origins of TV androids in 1976, the Bionic Woman burst onto screens, captivating audiences with its cutting-edge portrayal of technology and human augmentation. Often credited with introducing fembots, the show actually drew inspiration from earlier sources. Contrary to popular belief, the concept of fembots wasn't born within the Bionic franchise. A precursor emerged in The Magician, The Illusion of the Stainless Steel Lady, starring Bill Bixby. In this series, lifting a face mask revealed an eerie steel visage, distinct from the advanced robotics of later fembots. Yet, it was the Bionic franchise that refined these automatons into full-fledged androids. Notably, the trailblazing concept found its nascent roots in the iconic Westworld. The Bionic Woman's influence extended beyond technology, sparking pop culture parodies. Mad Magazine, known for its satirical takes, spoofed the show as the Moronic Woman. A testament to the series' impact, this playful jest showcased its position in the zeitgeist. Amidst these futuristic themes, the heart of the show centered around James Somers, embodied by Lindsay Wagner. Beyond her bionic enhancements, James' original occupation as a schoolteacher grounded the character in relatable humanity. This juxtaposition between her extraordinary abilities and her everyday role added depth to the narrative, resonating with viewers on a personal level. 
The bionic woman encapsulated an era's fascination with technology and redefined gender norms on television. Through fembots, it propelled a conversation about the intersection of humanity and machines. While misconceptions linger, it's clear that the show's legacy extends far beyond mere entertainment encompassing a cultural touchstone that continues to reverberate. The bionic woman delved into the evolving relationship between humanity and technology, a theme that resonates even today. From its innovative depiction of fembots to its playful parodies and thought-provoking exploration of human identity, the series remains an indelible chapter in television history. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of the bionic woman, we find ourselves not at an ending, but at the beginning of a new journey, a journey of introspection, reminiscence, and shared memories. The yearning to step into Jane Somers' bionic shoes and experience her daring escapades lingers, as does the profound impact this series left on our hearts and minds. Let the echoes of technologically enhanced footsteps remind you of the countless times you cheered for Jane as she triumphed over adversity her determination becoming a reflection of your own resilience. The 1976 TV series, with its innovative narrative and remarkable characters, wove itself into the fabric of our lives, sparking dreams of empowerment and redefining what it means to be extraordinary. As you walk down memory lane, let the iconic soundtracks and heart-pounding moments rekindle the thrill of your first encounter with James' bionic world. Whether it was the suspense of her undercover missions or the heartfelt connections she forged, the series became a mirror reflecting your own aspirations and emotions. Now, it's your turn to share. What are the stories that stayed with you? The moments that made your heart race? The lessons that shaped your outlook? Your thoughts are a treasure trove, a testament to the enduring power of storytelling to touch lives and inspire change. In a world where technology and humanity intersect, the bionic woman taught us that strength lies not only in the physical, but in the depth of our empathy, the resilience of our spirits, and the unwavering bonds we forge. So, dear friend, take a moment to delve into your trove of memories and share your thoughts with fellow admirers of this timeless series. Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic journey with me. Your time and reflections are a tribute to the magic of the bionic woman and the everlasting connection it forged between us all. Until we gather around the digital campfire again, keep the bionic spirit alive in your heart.